go loose and don't feel like they're, they're always looking over their shoulder they're, they're going to get yanked. Uh, and that, we were talking about off that Illinois game was entertaining. I mean, they can deliver an entertaining game. That was a very exciting game. From Evanston, Illinois, we sit in the middle of February and a couple of teams looking to get back in the win column. I agree, and I'll point to Rutgers in that they've had their first three-game winning streak in Big Ten conference play ever. They're playing good basketball, trying to get on the winning track here tonight. Floater falls and a couple of quick baskets here for Taylor. Mathis with the step back, he got it. And the first points here for Rutgers. Good to see Miles Johnson get that nice jump hook off the glass. Very skilled for a young big. Oh, wow. Omarui had a nasty collision with Gaines here. One of the toughest players in the Big Ten Conference, if not the toughest. Ron Harper for two. Trailing by five in a low scoring first half, Geo Baker put the Scarlet Knights on his back. Geo Baker. I think Rutgers has a size advantage, especially now. Rutgers can really take advantage of Carter and Miles in the post. Baker lets it fly. That's his first three-point make. Wow, look at Shaq Dorson get Derek Carter off the block. Carter in all kinds of trouble. Got double team. And they're off and running. Omaruri with the nice little left-handed layup and avoids the flying Barrett Benson. Even if he is hurting, he's not going to let you know because he, he wants to be on the floor. Here's Rutgers on the push. Mathis taking the contact and draws the foul. Another and one here for the Scarlet Knights. The Rutgers defense was impressive, holding the Wildcats to just one field goal over a five-minute span. And it was Miles Johnson who sparked a 6-0 burst by contributing on both ends of the floor. Takes it inside the lane for two. There you go, Peter Kiss, instead of selling for the three-point shot. Well, lost it. Shooter, that goes off the glass for Miles Johnson for his first for his second bucket. Perfect two for two. Uh, Miles Johnson, the engineering student, figured out the formula on that one. Both teams shooting about 35%. A combined two of 17. Tied at 22. Points were hard to come by in this hotly contested affair. It was 22-22 at the break. Harden to six points. Only shot four times. There is the take and two for Geo Baker. Turner, that's inside the three, and he's got a couple back to back. <laughs> Dorson reaching up to get that one with authority. Baker kicking it into an extra gear. He has flipped the switch to start this second half. Oh, great hustle defensively by Rutgers. All alone is Mathis. In the second half, Caleb McConnell caught fire, scoring seven points in a two-minute span. Ten points in the paint for Rutgers until there. McConnell's now gone back-to-back. Wow, Caleb McConnell. Rutgers in trouble, or he's not. <laughs> Take that back. Underhanded scoop for the and one. Down the stretch, it was a tug of war with both teams making big plays and letting it all hang out. Murray off the glass for two. That's a heck of a move. Now you see me, now you don't on the baseline. Shaq Dorson and Eugene Amaruyi helped the Scarlet Knights open up an eight-point lead with six minutes to play. Doorstep, throwing it down. Ladies and gentlemen, Shaq Dorson is 275. This is the largest lead for this half. Omaruri for three. He's become a three-point shooter this year. Yes, he has. We'll go in the last six minutes for Northwestern. Meanwhile, three on the shot clock for Rutgers. That means Baker had to let it fly. Uh, Omaruri, one-on-one. They like this matchup. 
step through move, big response there for Rutgers. Eugene Amaruyi sealed the victory with two clutch free throws as Rutgers grinded out a pulsating 59-56 victory. It marked the first time the Scarlet Knights have earned two conference road wins and five conference victories in a single season since joining the Big Ten in the 2014 campaign. Thanks to some great defense, ferocious rebounding, and 25 fast break points, the Scarlet Knights are back to 500 as they continue to shock the Big Ten with a hungry team that plays with incredible heart. We're not done yet. Every guy made a play. We didn't play everybody on the roster. You all stuck together tonight. You all stuck together and got a great road win. That's what we do. Great road win.